conformation. Everybody likes a conformation. I think. That probably annoyed people. On three, one, two, three, two, one. I don't know which way I count. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the b and stream today on this fine 19th of June, 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, I've had a fairly cool week. It's been, yeah, fairly cool. That's, yeah, stuff's been, been happening. Things been moving. I don't know how to really phrase it. How about, you, you probably want to see a video game, don't you? Here we go. There we go. Uh, I'm playing more Pokemon. <laughs> it's uh, yet again. It's it's a it's a weekly occurrence at this rate, apparently. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're back in with Pokemon. Uh, in the last stream, uh, we crossed the ocean, but also took out Team Aqua in not one but two places, I think. Yeah, technically. Um, and uh, I have traveled across the ocean. Where my Pokenav now tells me I am inside Moss Deep City. I'm deep in the Moss Deep City. Uh, across the ocean, it wasn't actually that far. In the grand scheme of things, it's actually not that bad surfing across the water, but I think it is a bit of a navigation thing, um, which we shall see later in the stream uh, how kind of crazy, not crazy, but like how yeah, precise you gotta be when you, when you, you know, try and find the, the right thing you wanna look for. Um, there's two things that I want to be able to do, and I think the first thing, uh, is, well, there's, there's a couple of things, but, uh, one thing I really want to do, oh, I've, I've healed, haven't I? Yes. And uh, I've got Rebox out front, that should be all good, I think Sedimenta is just going to be rocking the experience share for another three levels. Um, Kipperoni is going to need to, actually, let's throw Kipperoni out front. He's gonna need some levels, eventually, and I'm just curious if I'm gonna go up against some people, but head around the north side of Moss Deep City, and uh, you'll be privy to Route 125, that's right, we got more trainers up this way. I'm tired of swimming, are you up for a battle with me? Um, there are a total of six trainers around here? Um, I shall sort of fight them. They're, level, they're in the higher levels now. They they know what they want to be doing up here, I guess. Let's use that strength. I still have a growl, wow. Um, I'm falling in love. Hooray, hooray. That's okay, I'm strong enough to defeat love. Love can't stop me now. <laughs> and that was that, that was that trainer. Most of them don't have too many Pokemon. Um, but the main reason why you want to go up north here is because you're going to find wild Pokemon. Isn't that incredible? I've never seen them before. Uh, it's nothing, I think, that you've not seen on this route. It's a mixture of tentacle, wing gulls, and pelipers, uh, ranging between level 5 and 35. There's a buff, tough sailor right here. He is buff and tough. Don't, don't deny the buff and tough. Um, it's apparently on grass. Cause why is it green around? I don't know. Uh, obviously, all good, uh, all good sailors have a wingull still at this point in the game. I always find uh, these Pokemon games get kind of interesting. I think I might have mentioned this before, but they always get kind of interesting. Which Pokemon have evolved? Which ones haven't? Um, in the earlier games, they used to be a bit more aggressive on things evolving. Or things being evolved, but like they're not the, the right level to have evolved. Um, they're at least fairly consistent in this one, but uh, it's still uh, a degree of like, well, I mean, you had a tentacle. Well, I guess tentacle doesn't evolve until. Oh, does tentacle evolve? 30, yeah, yeah, it should have evolved. It should have evolved by then. Same thing with with the uh, Wingo. Well, yeah, 25, yeah, easy. Good old Seismic Toss, that's going to do uh, his level in terms of damage. It's not too bad, but yeah, it's a bit bulky. Well, Kiproni is only one level away from evolving, and I do want him to evolve before, um, at least before the gym, I or before the, the leaders. I think he'll be fine afterwards, but they are sort of high level. 
Um, oh gosh, yeah, I've got to the to the Pokédex. Um, yeah, sure, we'll throw Rubok out. Oh, sorry, um, uh, Ninchess. Kim, can you tell me what we're looking for out here? Oh, okay. You'll never be able to know what both of them say unless you lose to one of them. We just got a senior and junior. They got the swab blue, they got the Numel. And I got the strat. We're just gonna surf him and probably hit the swab blue, because I don't think you know either of these are gonna be particularly strong. The Numel's gonna cop it real bad. Yeah. I didn't really have a plan. So nice. Flamethrower, thank you. Okay, this finally <laughs> after going so long up to level 36, and you only know like a move that does 20 damage or 20 power, 40 power, 50 power. Bam, here you go, 95. It's just immediately so much better than Ember. The one catch is it's 95. Sorry, it's um 15 PP instead of 25 but it's like more than double the power. And it's got the same, you know, byproduct. Um, there's not really a reason why I wouldn't be using this. So, at this point, uh, Sedimenta might actually be doing a bit better, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going to level 38. That's when he evolves. That's when he really doesn't need any extra support. He's set. Um, and we've only got two more evolutions left on the team. Him and, uh, and, um... Anorath? An Anorath? I forgot what I called Anorath. Riff Raff. He's level 30, and I've been kind of abandoning him, but, uh, it's also because I've not been doing a particularly good job in what attack he's gonna be using, so I will sort that out later. But, for now, let us head inside the Shoal Cave. The Shoal Cave is a sort of interesting dungeon, because it's, um... It changes layouts. Uh, every six hours of real time. Um, so the Shoal Cave right now is currently in the low tide state. Um, in the low tide state you'll be able to find... Um, I believe you'll be able to find uh, Shoal Salts. And you'll need to look around. There's this guy and he tells you he needs four Shoal Salts and four Shoal Shells in order to get you a mythical item. Uh, I need... I think I just need, like, Surf and Strength here, so I should be set. How about bringing me back some Shell Salt and Shell Shells? I can make you something good if you bring me the ingredients. This is a very nice item. Unfortunately, I'm going to be finding wild Pokemon over and over again, but... Um, but yeah, it's a sort of interesting dungeon because, yeah, you get two different layouts depending on um, the tide. Maybe I should be spamming the... Uh, what's the item that reduces encounters? I should be throwing that one on. Uh, in here also you will find Sfeel. Sfeel is a actually uh, awesome water type. Only problem is I guess you're this far in the game if you've picked Swampert, you've pro or Mudkip, you've probably already gotten uh, so far. So yeah, has Anorith got the... he does have the cleanse tag. Let's take that off. Let's give it to Kipperoni. Because I'm not really going to be fighting things in here. Um, weirdly, the, uh, the Pokemon in here... Um, the fields can be uh, levels 26, 28, uh, 30, and 32. There's also a almost as likely chance you'll find a Zubat, and a little bit of a chance you'll find a Golbat. Um, other than that, real, really the normal rules apply when it comes to, um, you know, what Pokemon you'll find. Uh, but yeah, this intro area is mostly just to get you into this part of the, the dungeon, so... I don't particularly have a good idea where everything is, but we'll just keep wandering around. Um, main goal is uh, I'm looking for... Uh, well, there's that. Those are the items you're looking for. Uh, but also, there is a TM somewhere in here, particularly in the low tide. Now, I, I said that the, uh, the tides change every six hours. That six hours is precisely at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock, both a.m. and p.m. Coincidentally, I do my streams at 8.30. It's 8.39 right now. Uh, the moment I leave the dungeon, well, in 21 minutes, once I leave the dungeon, it's going to switch to the other uh, form. I don't think there's anything hidden, so... I'm just kind of wandering around, but... Um, but yeah, if you can uh, explore around here and get the items you need, you know, that's a success. 
I should probably be burning like repels, shouldn't I? Because this is going to get kind of annoying. That clan sag looked like it was doing its job earlier, and now it's not. Now it's like, yeah, nah. There's no trainers as well, so really, you know. You know, what, what exactly are you getting, but there we go, we've got an ice heal. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, how's everyone's weeks been? I've been pretty alright, I've played, uh, I actually, I played, um, uh, Grimace's birthday. Uh, there's this amazing, amazing, like, uh, I guess, I, it's a promotional thing, uh, but basically it's McDonald's, the purple mascot, Grimace's birthday. Um, is it actually his birthday? I'm not too sure. They haven't really been celebrating his birthday for a while, uh, but they got these these ads, at least in the US, um, of a big mascot, Grimace, dancing around, and he's got, you know, his birthday candles, and they're doing a promotional shake, which looks like it's just a vanilla milkshake, but they put purple food coloring in it. Um, I'm, uh, it may be different, I'm not too sure if it is different, but, uh, point is, they're just kind of using Grimace to promote going to McDonald's. And, you know, I can't fault them for that. You know, it's a, it's a mascot, you're gonna use your mascot, like... What's, what's wrong with using a mascot? Nothing, really. Um, for me, I feel a little sort of nostalgic about Grimace. He seems pretty cool. There's a guy. Penetrating cold around these parts is an impediment to training, but with focus one can overcome. With this focus band, buckle down and withstand the cold. Oh boy, if you're the kind of person who manages to actually, like, rock a focus band in battle. Um... Oh. 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 I don't know what that was about. I, I lost the audio as well. And then it went super slow. Someone's gonna gonna be like, uh, what would you just do? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh well. Uh, focus band is basically uh, if you uh, are about to faint from an attack, there is a 12% chance that the focus band will cause you to stay on one health. Uh, this also allows you to survive a future sight and other neat things, I guess. I'm trying to think in my head, which way do you go? Uh, I think being out in the center here is probably... Probably a dead end. I'll keep wandering around. Because, I mean, I'm just running away from battle, so I don't think there's really any downside to... Going the wrong way other than wasting a bit of time, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this just had sand, but... Or salt. There's a 5% gold bat. And it's female. That's cool. Oh, snap, he's faster than me. Alright, note to self, Golbat is a little bit faster. That, that's a bit annoying. Okay, that's... Um, we're good. We're good. Now I'm gonna hear those dings every time I get into a battle. Nice. I'll probably not be in here for, like, the whole time, so I might be able to just go and do the gym. After, like, I just wanted to go right at the beginning of the stream because I had a half-hour spot at the beginning of the stream to uh, go in and get the... get the salts. So... Um, But, yeah, after that, it's like, well, I've got all the time in the world, because after 9 o'clock, I've got until 3 a.m. to get this, so... Yeah, if, you, uh, if you're if you playing the game, this is a fun thing to just, like, go in and explore around. Uh, I would also like to note, purely in the high tide, uh, there is another Pokémon that you can find called Snorunt. I think we've actually seen Snorunt before? Um, but I think this is perhaps the only place you can actually get him. Uh, he's not too common as well, it's like a 10% chance in the icy part of this cave, but uh, you will be able to find him... Oh, snap. Okay. He'd be somewhere in the icy part, somewhere in here. Okay, in that case, icy part is low tide. Confirmed. Um, so yeah, 10% chance. Uh, doesn't really change anything else about the encounters too much, it's just a little bit of a lower chance of a... Uh, Sveal and, and, uh, Zubat. I'm curious which way I go. I want to go onto the platform, don't I? Oh, the bag's full. 
The bag is full. Is there anything that's too important in here? Well, I have super repels. Uh, the odds of me actually using a burn heal is probably not too high, so... But yeah, that is important to note. Never melt ice. This increases ice type attacks by uh, 20%, I believe. Which is pretty neat. It's worth, uh, worth having if you're going to use some ice type moves. Uh, this is a very interesting sliding puzzle. Uh, yeah, here we go. Then you go right. There you go. And this is TM07, which is hail. It's very nice. It's worth having. Did I pick up enough of the of the salts as well? Yeah, I've got all four. Cool. Um, in that case, I might mostly be done. But uh, I guess there was a cave that I missed earlier on. There's a Snorrent. He's cute. I love him. I love Snorrent. He's one of the coolest Pokemon. Um. But yeah, the Grimace's birthday. As an amazing part of the promotion, they made a sort of retro style website, like in the early 2000s kind of look. Um, and uh, in the middle of it was a uh, was a game. It's I, w I wouldn't say Flash, but it's in that style. Um, but uh, the game is called Grimace's Birthday, in which you play as Grimace, and you play through four levels. Uh, the first two levels, Grimace is on a skateboard, skating around, you can grind on rails, you jump over milkshakes on the ground. And then the second level, you're on these kind of like high skyscraper... Um, oh, this is probably where that cave links to, so if anything, I'm probably, I'm probably not lost any, any ground, I'm probably, that's it. This is why I get for not having a flying Pokemon. For a digging Pokemon. Yeah, that's where that leads. Okay, so that's that half of the cave. Um, yeah, I might as well meander around, fight the remaining trainers, and then... Probably do the gym and then come back. It's gonna be a bit of an interesting gym. I'm not sure how I'll go, but... Okay. Um, yeah, uh... The second two levels, you, you jump around on some high uh, skyscraper buildings, jump on some, some wires to bounce up high or bounce on these foxes? I don't know, you jump on foxes. It's kind of interesting. Um, at the end, you get to blow out a birthday cake of your choice, whether it be a regular cake or it's got chicken McNuggies with candles in them. Uh, very cool. Uh, the music is neat. Uh, it's got some fun art. And uh, bonus points, and this is a incredible bonus point. Um, little, little does uh, the page actually highlight that this is the case. Um, but the game itself is actually a Game Boy Color ROM. Uh, and the page is just running a Game Boy Color emulator on top of that. It is not actually a Flash game or, um, it's probably WebAssembly, but it's WebAssembly running a Game Boy ROM. So. Uh, the cool thing is that you can effectively just click on the page content and extract the Game Boy Color ROM, and there you go. Now you have a brand new Game Boy Color game, created officially by McDonald's, or at least formally licensed by McDonald's, made in 2023. That is a very incredible thing for McDonald's to have somehow got their name on. Um, and uh, yeah, no, people like, you know, once I look around for it, if the page goes down, it's probably been archived and Hey, it's an advertising game. I don't think they're going to be too fussed about people sharing it around. Hey, like, listen, I, I'm of the mindset of, like, as long as you're not stealing revenue from someone, that, f let the free advertising go. Like, you know, don't be too too grippy over, um, over distribution of your free Flash game. Or it's not a Flash game, you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, let people play it in... Oh, it's got double beam. Let people play it in, uh, you know, their emulator of choice. Or alternatively, somehow printed onto real cartridges. Well, as long as they're not selling it. But yeah, ah, oh, it's it's so cool, and it's it's well done for a for a Game Boy Color game as well. Um, I like I didn't find there were really any like technical hiccups. Um, the the skateboarding works well. You got to hold down or up to grind on the rails, and then you can press A and then B in the air to kick flip, and that gets you more points. Uh, you get to explore around and pick up the milkshakes. It's not too long. You'll probably beat it in 10 or 15 minutes. Um, 
and it's really not hard, like, if you somehow run out of time, which might happen on the second stage, I think the second stage is probably a bit trickier, um, then you just start the checkpoint again, and the checkpoint might be halfway in the stage, um, pretty sure there's two more trainers chilling around here somewhere, somewhere. Uh, I think the, 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 like, the third and fourth levels where you're jumping on the, the, the wires, it's not as interesting, but it's definitely still neat and fun, and, uh, I think going around and trying to get all the, the shakes is a nice little bonus, um, and as, a, as an extra thing as well, beating the game with all the shakes actually earns you a new, uh, skateboard color, which is pretty cool, that you can actually change your skateboard color, uh, in the game, um, but also, there's a score attack mode, which takes place on a completely different map. Although, well, not completely. It, it's sort of themed the same. Um, but it's different, differently laid out, and it's sort of arranged in a ring shape, so you can go around all these areas uh, and do skateboarding tricks. And it's pretty cool. It's it's really neat. It's it's a super fun, fun time. I would highly recommend. Go out, play that... Uh, Play that, uh, Grimace's birthday game, and, uh, you know, if you feel like buying a McDonald's milkshake, there you go, that's, that's the advertising at its work. Um. Okay, I guess. I swear, there's like one more trainer around here, but I'm not gonna get too fast. Yeah, okay. Alright, well I have, uh, a little bit of, uh, trainers before the gym battle, and I need that evolution. This is gonna be- this is gonna be a bit- a bit of fun. We'll see how this goes. Now, I absolutely dig this, uh, gym layout as well, because I always, uh, like, as a kid, I was super fascinated with just, like, I would say mazes, but it's not, like, really deep mazes, it's more just, like, watch the thing go around and hopefully it, like, more like train track style mazes. I guess that's how I'd say. Solving puzzles where it's like you gotta swap the train tracks and lead it all, things all the right way. Um, and, uh, you know, some, some areas in Pokemon such as this, uh, and, uh, if anyone recalls the Toy Story 2, um, in the, in the Owl's Penthouse level has a little train track and you gotta direct that. There's probably other instances of train track puzzles in my childhood. Um, does anyone remember, uh, there's an old Sierra game called Dr. Brain. One day I will play that. Not, not Dr. Brain, the lost mind of Dr. Brain. But no one remembers the Lost Mine part. It's, uh, it's published by Sierra. Okay. Um, but that's probably an old PC experience that maybe I'll demonstrate one day. Um, but it's full of just, like, logic puzzles, that game. F you, F you, F you, F you. Watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Yeah! Sometimes I'll see. Uh, as you can tell, it's a psychic type gym. You're going to be fighting Curliers, Kadabras, and the occasional uh, Natu and Giraffe. There's nothing really too tricky about really any of these because uh, they're not fully evolved and they're going to be doing very basic attacks. Like, Natu is not a threat in any way, I feel. What's its base stats? Yeah, it's like 40 health, 45 defense, 45 special defense. Giraffe rig's a bit, you know, oh, okay, sure. Nice heal, by the way. Good job. Oh. Yeah, Giraffe rig is a bit mean. But I've got a crit, so... He's a pretty balanced, kind of stat-wise Pokemon, but it's just the fact that, like, he is balanced, and he's got some decent stats. That's, that's what you're up against. Um... Gone up against another Kadabra. It's probably not too bad. This is a role-playing game. That is true. How dare you steal my torrents? What is he seeding? Why is he doing this again? Okay. Sure. Sure. Cool. 
Um, but yeah, uh, I looked into it a bit more, and I also saw that the um, the the Grimace's birthday game. Um, and granted, it's not made by like one random person. It's it's legit like a, a decent studio of people who apparently do make quite a few of these kinds of games. Um, some licensed, some not, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, they made this using a tool called uh, GB Studio. Uh, I guess short for Game Boy Studio, but it's a it's a I don't oh it's not actually open source, but it's on a itch.io as like a free kind of tool to download, and it's just this kind of effectively I'd call it an IDE for Game Boy Color creation. Oh, actually no, sorry, I take it back. It's it's an engine. It it's full on a a game engine. Um, you can write some basic like scripts and and things like that to uh. Um, you know, do some behaviors if you want. Uh, it's got tools for drawing sprites and kind of changing scenes and color palettes and things like that for programming the music, um, for handling just dialogue, being able to just write dialogue. Um, it's got a bunch of things and uh, it lets you kind of break out of that system as well. I'd really like to try it out because every time I try a game engine, one, uh, I'm sort of super ambitious in my head, and then I get really stuck on the thing, and then I just lose my train of thought, and I go, oh, it's not, like, it's it's a lot of work. Um, and I know that's not a great mindset of going about it, but, um, you know, I'd really like to start small. Like, really learn the tools of the trade before I, like, really get into things. And I feel like a Game Boy game creator is a great kind of way of going about it. The only problem with creating homebrew titles like this is that usually there's a programming, there's a low level overhead that you just normally have to understand. You'd have to go, oh, like, you know, like, what's, uh, you know, like, what IO values are you able to just, like, write to? Because, um, usually hardware is mapped to certain memory addresses, and that would be how you'd access you know, like drawing to the screen is just like setting these memory values to a thing, but actually that's along a, an I.O. bus and it's, it's doing something like that, so... Um... Yeah, usually it's that, but this, you know, this doesn't seem like it's got that. I see it. The Iblis trigger. So I think this gym's pretty straightforward, uh, despite it snaking all around, it's effectively, uh... I think you got like four switches that you've just got to hit. They're all that you just have to hit the switches. Listen, I got any amount of experience, I win. I evolve. I'm all set. I like how it keeps kept saying in my head uh, as well. It's like, oh, you know, only uh, only Riff Raff needs to evolve now. Completely forgetting that Kipperoni is, you know, he was level 34 at the end of two streams ago. So I thought it was worthwhile to commit to just. Throw some levels at him. And would you know? What? Kipperoni is evolving? Oh my goodness! Finally, after much trepidation, here we are. The God Tier character. It's Swampert! Everyone's favorite. Now, Swampert is still water ground type, but his stats are through the roof. He, uh, like, look at that attack, 103. It's like, even like Ninjask, who is, um, you know, I, I'm setting up as a decent attacker. It's like, well, I guess Ninjask has speed. I guess there's that. But no one comes close to dealing that much damage. Even Grumpig. Grumpig isn't really, like, a special sweeper. He's just a, uh, like, a bulky special defense kind of guy. Um... North is probably going to be an attacker as well, and uh, that's right, I have three attackers on my team, and a cast form with a bad special attack nature. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got a, I got a kind of wacky team, I don't know if it's exactly the best, uh, but we'll keep, we'll keep bouncing around. So, uh, let's get cast form up, um, some levels, because he does need a bit of stuff. He's got, you know, a rain dance and weather ball, um, and hail, so he's still sitting pretty for now. Uh, what have I got as well for other moves for him? Because I've finally written down what moves I'm actually teaching Pokemon. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's hit the switch, and now you gotta go up and around, and this guy probably... I guess you could dodge this guy. You could probably dodge the person on the top as well, but... You know, who goes for a gym and doesn't fight every trainer? Ah, Ralts. Uh, okay, let's get that, uh, rain dance. I am now water. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I love, and I guess, I guess to, to go one level further, um, the fact that, um, that, uh, GB Studio even exists, shows that there's a lot of love and care in the, um, I've been imprisoned. There's a lot of love and care, uh, which moves did get sealed, is that just... I guess, I guess the other one, the other one got sealed. Um, it shows that there's a lot of love in the homebrew scene still, and especially, um, you know, I, I think the Game Boy is a fairly normal system to, um, to mod, I guess, or to, to homebrew for, so... That makes that fairly simple, but... My, my forecast. Oh, is Kadabra gonna turn into a water-type form? I guess not. <laughs> that's that's kind of interesting. It doesn't exactly, uh... doesn't exactly work for Kadabra. Yep. Probably want that that way, otherwise I'm never gonna fight that guy. Uh, okay, what do you- which way do you go? This way? And then you go up. And around. No, I guess you go left. I am struggling to do. I'm getting there. What does this guy say? Yo, how's it going, champion bound bando? The gym leader's here. Use psychic type Pokemon. If you go up against them with fighting or poison type Pokemon, they'll inflict horrible damage. Plus, they'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it! Oh, it's slow as well. Yeah, you see that? It's just one long chain. You gotta make sure you did it right. When you lose to me, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not that you're weak, I'm just too strong. Sure, okay. But yeah, I really want to actually like look into how the homebrew scene is as well across like other platforms, not necessarily, um, you know, actually developing stuff. I sort of was very curious about PlayStation um, stuff like ages ago, uh, but the best I saw was um, uh, well, not the best, but like the one thing that I kind of saw was like actually writing with a dev kit and just like compiling C, and it's like, oh, here's how you draw a string to the screen. Um, and it works, I guess. Uh, but I probably know a lot more now than I did back then, so um, I'd like to go back into it, just, just check it. The dev kit was mostly just a compiler, I did not know how to run anything else, so... It's the 90s, so it's a bit trickier to actually run the expected, you know, things at the time. Because I, I imagine a lot of PlayStation 1 games used the same kind of system for, like, oh, playing full motion videos, for example. You could tell when something used a custom solution, but when it didn't, you know, they all, they all sort, of, sort of play the same. There you go, get some levels on cast form. Sedimentar is just casually still getting stuff in the back, but... He's, he's almost there. He's almost there. 1560. I think it'll probably... He might get it after this gym fight. He might get it after the gym fight, so... Uh, now, very important, this gym fight is a double battle. Every time I keep saying there are barely any double battles in this game, despite the fact that I did another one earlier this, you know, before Shoal Cave. Um, 
it effectively culminates in this gym battle. This gym battle is indeed a double battle. So with that, I guess it's a save and let's go for it. Now the nice thing is that virtually every double battle in this game, is they only have the two Pokemon. I don't know why they never have any more than the two. Um, and that makes uh, my job a bit easier because despite me being a bit under leveled, I also have more Pokemon than them by quite a fair bit. Uh, granted, one of them's level 30, one's level 32, so I've got you know a little bit of a disadvantage when it comes to the level there. But I've got a hunch I've got this, and that's because uh, there's a glaring problem with their team, which you will see when we go up against it uh, in about 10 seconds once I somehow go woo! Like you couldn't do 3D on the Game Boy, but like when they had things over things, sprites overlapping other sprites, it works well. Here we go. <laughs> were you surprised? Foo -foo -foo -foo. Were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? That there are two gym leaders? We're twins! We don't need to talk because we can each determine what the other is thinking. All on our minds. This combination of ours. Can you beat it? Can you dig it? So introducing uh, Tate and Lisa. Lisa? Lisa? Uh, this is their team. Lunatone and Sora. Now they're both level 42, which is noticeably higher than my team, yes, uh, but there is a key problem with their team, and that is despite being the psychic type gym, both of these Pokemon are rock psychic, which means my water type is king, uh, soul rock using sunny day, uh, I guess I'm gonna be fire for a hot second. Light screen? Well, that, yeah, that's a bit mean. And I know Kibroni is on a special attack. Wow, okay. Okay. This is going to take a bit. Ah, oh, it could be the, the sunny day. Pretty much, I don't know, man. It's just going to hit him with the water attacks, I guess. Uh, so, who we got to, to really worry about? We got to worry about the Soul Rock here, because he's going to keep spamming sunny day. And 100% uh, his uh, strat is sunny day and then solar beam. That's the bit that's probably going to throw me off. Fast form falling asleep is not a good sign as well. And you know, that's a that's not a lot of damage. It's probably because, yeah, the sunny day kicked him again. Uh, also, he knows flamethrower, so don't even try thinking about, like, anything else, basically. Um, this also means, uh, my pip is fairly caught out, but almost everyone else on my team is as well. Let's go Rebox. Uh, and also Psychic, which is a strong Psychic type attack. It's it's fairly strong. Um, okay, sure. Cool. Uh, the Lunatone is all about the support setup. Uh, he's got Psychic as well. There's the Solar Beam. That's 100% the strat. Um, it's not as bad on Rebox, but I'm asleep. I'm asleep, which is not great. Uh, but the Lunatone knows Light Screen, Calm Mind, and Hypnosis, as well as Psychic, so, um, mostly the support setup. Uh, but yeah, your best bet is probably, I mean, you got a variety of types that will do more damage, um, like, uh, if you got Water or Grass, that's great, um, Ice technically works, I guess, uh, Psychic is not good, so that's off limits, but I'm not too sure. Well, I guess that's the only damaging attack he's got. Meanwhile, the Lunatone with Flamethrower, sorry, the Soul Rock with Flamethrower is going to sort of wreck people's days. Um, I guess the kind of annoying thing is that almost everything that is... Uh, Almost everything that you can use is... Yeah, I might be a bit caught out here. 
Because how Kipperoni, like, while Kipperoni is fairly alright, he's gonna get, and he's, is he asleep? No, he's not asleep yet. Um, even though he's fairly alright, he is gonna get caught out by, um... <laughs> he's gonna get caught out by the Solar Beam until the Solar Beam wears off. And I'm just fast asleep, apparently. So, light screen is also gonna be a bit of a meme. Uh, like, in theory, I could just spam Amnesia and then be bulky as. But, uh, <laughs> no, Sedimenta needs another level for that one. Uh, Nonogram is very susceptible to fire, and uh, he's only got Slash. Jeez. Uh, do I even have, do I even have a strat? Maybe. Let's get him. <laughs> it's not going to get him much, but we'll get him a bit more each time. Riff Raff is going to cop it for a moment. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a bit more of a sweep, but no, no. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. At least he's normally using Solar Beam, but... Nah, nah, it's over. It's over, man. Alright, give that a restart. Um... <laughs> Listen, I got, I got some things I can do. So first of all, uh... We be leaving... And, uh, let's, let's consider some things. So I was looking at my, my team's moves, and I thought of a couple of things that actually might, also I need to put away my items, let's, let's do that right now. Um, but I thought of a couple of things that might make my life a little bit easier. Dude, imagine if I didn't even have Swamper, I'd be like 100% screwed. Um, that is not the right, uh, thing, I want to move items. Alright, we're depositing stuff. First of all, I have an escape rope. I'll just never keep using escape ropes. Full heals, probably not. You know, keep that... Keep that stuff on bay. Parlor's heal. Super repels. Elixirs definitely don't need. Keep the revives. Max potion short. Max ether no. Max... Uh, no. Uh, nope. King's Rock. Sunstone. Salt. Uh, I'll keep the salt on hand, because I'll need to trade it with a guy eventually. Uh... Okay, so, here's my idea, uh, and you can tell me off for going, huh, why, but no, here's, here's, here's my idea, okay, so, I've currently got Nonogram using, uh, Fury Cutter, and Fury Cutter, uh, every time I keep thinking about it, I keep thinking it's a good move, it's bug type, so it's got the stab. And then as you keep hitting, it deals more damage. But I've noticed more and more, my fights never last long enough to warrant that build-up. It's 10 power, then 20, then 40, then 80. 80 is kind of the point it, I need it to be all the time. And it's not that good, you know, trying to build up to that. So instead, I realized he can learn Shadow Ball, which is physical in this game. Ghost type attacks are physical. So, I'm going to use that instead of Fury Cutter. It's 80 power, which is exact. well, it's, it's not the same strength as, or the same power as Fury Cutter, because Fury Cutter would have to stab, but let, let's just say it, it's more power than at least the, th I think the three attacks combined, the first three attacks combined is just about the same as this. And never mind, you did this in one go, uh, and uh, it's got more accuracy as well. It's less PP, but it's also, oh, I mean, if I can kill them faster, sure. So I'm gonna rock Shadow Ball on this one. That'll be an interesting move. Um, there are some other ones as well, which I would like to, uh... Yeah, I would like to fast travel back out. Fast travel? 
I'm still going to need maybe a, another level on um, Sedimentar, though. I, I will 100% say that. Alright, Swampert, see ya. But I thought this would be interesting. Uh, so, let's not use the bag. Let's uh, get Wingar to fly out. And we're going back to Lily Cove. Now, in the Lily Cove department store, uh, there were a couple of TN... Oh, I can do, I can do my uh, gambling as well. Where's my Master Ball? Where's my Master Ball? Five, seven, seven, six, eight. I don't think that's any of them. Nah. <laughs> dang it. I want my Master Ball, dang it. Uh, which floor has the TMs? Is it this floor? Nope. It's the next floor. Uh, we're gonna be shopping for some TMs. Just a couple. There are two that I thought I'd like to, to teach. Uh, so the first one I want to get is... Uh... TM 16. Just want one of them. This is a light screen? I thought it would be interesting to, to teach that onto Meg Cargo, or Slugma for the moment, and then it'll become Meg Cargo. And uh, the other one I wanted to get was uh, TM25 here, uh, because that is Thunder. You may be thinking, Thunder, interesting move. I don't think this is exactly going to help, but, you know, it'd be cool to have him right now. So let's teach Thunder to Cast Form. Which I thought would be great fun. Uh, cast form should learn thunder instead of... Uh, well, I guess powder snow is not a particularly strong attack, but I don't think it'd be... Uh, no, we'll keep... Yeah, we'll get rid of powder snow for the moment. Because I can use hail and weather ball in order to deal ice for the moment. But now he knows thunder, which will complement him well for his ice-type nature. His ice... Oh, sorry, his water-type kind of strategy he's got going on. Uh... Do I have any other ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the light screen? Here it is. I'm not 100% sure if uh, light screen is... I mean, it is relevant for this fight. Uh, I'm going to teach it instead of smog because, oh boy, 70 accuracy. That doesn't instill much hope in me. It is a bit of a setup. It is... A bit of a setup, and uh, honestly, it's not like Sedimentar can really do too much in the fight after that, but I think the light screen will help a bit because all of their attacks are special, so. And we got one more. We got. Uh, but wait, there's more. Uh, so let's go back to uh, a very old place, all the way back to Falaba Town. There'll be a guy chilling in, uh, not that house. This house, I think? There you go. I never should let myself be conned into telling T Mac where you can find meteorites. That meteorite from Meteor Falls is never gonna be my. Oh, I don't have it, do I? Where is the meteorite? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had written down, give him the meteorite, and then I was like, where was the meteorite? Uh... Uh... <laughs> where, where do you get the meteorite? <laughs> Bobblepedia just says you already have it. I feel like I, I... Okay, I'm jumping the gun. I just feel like I don't have it yet. Okay. 
We're not getting that. We're, we're not getting it. Um, so yeah, there's more water for me to, I guess, uh, you know, <laughs> 7.8 out of 10 on. Uh, but how about let's let's train a little bit by seeing the trainer's eyes and finding another trainer that might want to fight. Uh, we got a couple of people on round 118, I guess. So let's -a go to 118, which is kind of awkwardly that one. Or is it this one? Whichever the case, I do not have uh, a guy with surf on me, so... We'll just keep going around, I guess. Um... This rain is pretty cool, though. I'll tell you that. Where's the... I was like an aroma lady and a guitarist. Are you the guitarist? Nope. I guess I'm not at 118 yet. Yeah. Uh, so I would like to provide a bit of a uh, bit of an update on uh, previous story. Uh, well, not, uh, it's it's not like I was wrong. It's more like is a sequel. Uh, so last week I talked about the whole Reddit thing a bunch. Um, okay. Okay, we'll fight this guy. Did I fight this guy before? I probably did. Ah, uh, yeah, that Brelum's kind of high level. Uh, neither of these are particularly like amazing, but I love the idea of using Thunder. So Thunder, for reference, it's uh, 120 power, I think. Which is strong. I guess that was also a crit. Um, but uh, what makes it amazing is that when it's raining, thunder always hits. So stuff the idea of it being like, oh, you know, it's a bit of a lower accuracy move. It always hits. You don't have to worry about it. So combining that with cast form, you know, benefiting from water type, of, you know, with the with the rain. It's kind of annoying, I'll have to switch over, but that's okay. Oh, he nearly got me with the Mega Drain there. Nearly got me with that. But yeah, oh, it's such a cool thing. I actually, um, I... Very originally in my notes, I actually had Mad Cargo trying to learn Solar Beam. Because you could teach him Sunny Day and Solar Beam, as we saw in the, the gym fight, um, you don't need to charge up in order to use Solar Beam when it's Sunny Day. It just works immediately, which is great. Uh, only problem, Cargo doesn't learn Solar Beam in 3rd gen. He learns it in 4th gen onwards. It's very irritating that uh, this game, it's a, it's a no-go. Man, this is not quite the right type, is it? I mean, I know I could switch to Ice side, but I'm also like, uh, I've lost my, you know, I've lost my health. So, uh, yeah, sure, just send Rebox out, why not? Uh, worst thing that. So, so an update on the Reddit situation. Um, I feel like I didn't really, I wasn't 100% sure that they were going to do this. Because it sounded silly to me, but no, apparently it was the case. The Reddit blackout, uh, which started on Sunday, no, it started on Monday, actually, um, last week, uh, in response to the whole API pricing debacle, as well as also maybe some other things, but very particularly because of the API pricing debacle, um, one day I'll attack, um, the, uh, a bunch of subreddits shut down, basically. They went on private, and they said, Hey, you know, like, we want Reddit to change. We're gonna do this blackout for 48 hours. Now, it is clearly... Like, I thought, oh, not everyone was doing 48 hours, right? Right? But no, that was the plan. To turn off Reddit for 48 hours. Now, the Reddit... CEO in a leaked document, but 
now it gets out in some way. Said, we'll just wait this out. Which makes sense. Like, I don't want to call the guy a dumbie. There are some things that I sort of... Nothing he's actually said, for reference. I don't think anything the Reddit, Reddit admin has said is particularly... Um, wrong. It might be like one or two things, but it's like everything he says is like, oh, it's just like his perspective, his opinion, and I feel like he's, you know, or he hasn't really said too much. It just kind of is more like giving directions. Like he's he's just saying we want to do this basically, or we will wait them out. I got no, you know, qualms with him saying that. I guess I have qualms with. You know, what, what has the website become? What what on earth has a social media website become? And I, I, I saw an article basically make this great point, which is, like, what kind of community has a goal of constant growth? Not just growth unto a certain point, but, like, constant growth. As in, you know, your, your website needs to keep gaining users, or else it is not, you know, a worthwhile investment, I guess, is the uh, the key point to say. Uh, Reddit itself isn't actually public, I think, and they're looking for a buyout, but they're currently rocking um, investor money. They're currently rocking the idea of, um, you know, someone will sink a million dollars into Reddit, expecting that, you know, the deal will be sweetened in some variety later on. And it's Reddit, like, you know, how can it fail? But, uh, like, yeah, that's, that's not, that doesn't line up with how people use Reddit. As in, I guess advertisers use Reddit that way. But the majority of people who use Reddit don't see it like that. And this is where the friction comes in. This is where we go, wow, I'm really not the right, at least I can just change the hail, I guess. Let's just go for that. Um, but this is where the friction with the Reddit stuff comes in. It's the fact that the users themselves are people who sort of want a fun community of people to interact with. Maybe they want people to be posting memes, maybe they want fun discussions, um, or interesting discussions, or just like, hey, you know, like... Reddit, to some degree, is a link aggregator, but it's also sort of just a forum. Like, when you treat it like that, how exactly do people benefit from there being way more people on the platform. You need some people, you don't need a lot of people. And uh, the whole Lenny scenario that we've got going on right now um, is probably a key example of, yeah, you don't actually need that many people in order to be lively and, and have stuff going on. Um, I hope people realize that when they go back to Reddit, when, you know, because the shutdown, lockdown, Blackout, it was 48 hours for a bunch of subreddits. Um, now, a lot of other subreddits announced, hey, yeah, 48 hours wasn't enough. We're just going to go indefinitely, which is 100%. Like, that is the power play to do. Here's another evolution, by the way. Just another one. Why not? Here he goes. Here he goes. That's right. The one. The only... Mag Cargo! He's all goopy, I love him. Is Mag Cargo necessarily ready for the gym? Why is this shell blue? It's not blue in this sprite. Alright, let's take that off because Riff Raff is the one who needs the levels. Um, Riff Raff isn't necessarily weak, but he's a. Uh, I mean, he's on the back burner when it comes to levels, and, uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll just say that, so... Um, yeah, people... Using Reddit... Um... I guess... Uh, how do I phrase it? Yeah, people using Reddit... Um, keep recycling. And the art this article, this blog post... I'll see if I can find it again, but they basically said this idea that, like... There is no community in Reddit, technically. There is no shared culture or shared values. Reddit is a train station, if that makes sense. Every time you go to Reddit, you're probably seeing a different crowd of people rock up, sh you know, bring in their own kinds of memes, and then move on. 
And, uh, to some degree that's not the worst, but it does mean that, like, yeah, you, you are constantly dealing, like, everyone is an outsider. There is no, um, I guess, yeah, there's, there's no, I don't know, there's no recurring faces, there's none of, none of that fancy stuff, I guess. Um, whereas at least, I guess, uh, and I mentioned at the end of the last stream, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, just, like, set up Lemmy and we'll see what's going on. I don't know who I'm fighting. I feel like the, the one trainer, um, the breeder on that one route. 121. I did not find that 118 guy. 120, that's the other way. 116. 17. Where's the breeder? This should be the one. This should be the one. Which one's 117? I'm pretty certain it's, uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That breeder is always available. I don't know why. This would be nice and easy training. Um, but yeah, no, I set up a Lemmy. Uh, I don't have any communities on it, so the best you can do is just kind of, uh... Well, you can't even follow on Lemmy. Um, even though they say you can. But you can't. There's an RSS feed. Maybe it works. Um, what have I got in my second slot? Oh, I think I've got the wing girl in my second slot. Whoops. Whoops, wing girl's getting a bit of experience today. Good job, wing girl. You got this. Uh, let's send out the nonogram. Let's get him gone. Even though this is just a Makuita and Zigzagoon. Nothing too strong. I'd be getting headbutt. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Um, so yeah, so, uh, so yeah, my Lemmy is, uh, currently L.BNL.com. That's L for Lemmy. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of working around, interacting with people, but, uh, I've definitely found, um, you know, there's a lot of community on Lemmy already. Uh, there's definitely the headache of, oh my gosh, we just tripled, if not quadrupled, our user base in the past fortnight, uh, like, across the entirety of Lemmy. Uh, a lot of these instances do not really scale the best. And Lemmy, the software, doesn't exactly scale the best. It federates fine, and it will receive messages and cross-interact across, you know, other instances pretty fine. Um, but it kind of works like email. It's like, you know, you don't really want so many people, um, you know, constantly hammering your one instance. And that is exactly what uh, Lemmy.ml which is the main instance kind of experience. They, they just were like, wow, there's so much going on. Um, you know, they had to close, uh, you know, registrations and go on from there. So, uh, another large instance, Behor, found it was very hard to deal with the sudden influx of users um, and in, by proportion, the same kind of uh, rate of reports and kind of unrowdy behavior, especially from the other larger instances that are not, they don't lock down the registrations. And, you know, different instances will do different things, and I think ultimately while there are instances with open registrations, uh, and people are going to be joining and just writing troll stuff all the time, I guess. Um, I personally actually didn't really see much troll stuff, I guess. Either the moderation was pretty good and they were catching it right away. I don't need Protect, by the way. Protect is just... I don't see much utility in using it in, in single player, so... Um, the, uh... Um... Yeah, so... I didn't really see much, much kind of mean stuff. The upvotes and all that stuff. Like, people were being very respectful with the things they were saying, with the... the the um, links they were sharing, the comments to things, um, a couple of cross posts, stuff like that. Um, but generally, yeah, no, people were actually pretty, pretty chill, pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be kind of chilling around, just kind of lurking a bit. Maybe the occasional comment. I, I'm not gonna make a, a self community, 
yet. I don't think I'm, you know, I don't know. I don't really know what I'd talk about for myself. And if I just want to, like, post things out to the world and let people follow it, I'll just, you know, actively boost my own blog. Um, and then people can share that wherever they want. Maybe there's, like, a Let's Play community. Maybe I'd, I'd look into that, but... I don't know, like, I, I also feel like I don't spend a lot of my time watching other Let's Players, so... I don't know, I'm in this weird spot where... Uh, I don't know. But, hey, you know, I found uh, a post talking about the new King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard album, and I'm like, heck yeah, let's let's leave a comment, let's talk about it. Some guy's like, oh, I want to build a PC, what's something I should watch out about? And I'm like, yeah, you know, that USB 3 header is the worst, and people don't mention it enough, but that is the worst. Like, that kind of stuff. Um... I think you'll naturally find nerdy people on um, Lemmy, but it's currently doing a very good job of not being alternative media in that sense. Like, uh, it's not the place... I, I think the key thing is that it's not the place you go to when you get banned from Reddit, it's the place you go to when you're upset with Reddit. And that is, I think, a key distinction that makes Lemmy work a bit better. Uh, the whole federated stuff about it, I think, um, it's still kind of, like, I would like to understand where the confusion comes from a bit more. Um, I guess maybe people come from the mindset and think it's exactly like Reddit, so they go, oh, I get banned, but then it's like, oh, what is all this, like, federation? What is going on here? Um, and again, I'll, I'll just say, it's like email. Just think of it like email. Um, now, I, I also said, you can't permanently block every single, um, well, you can block every single one, but you can't block every troll. There's gonna be trolls that always, like, will create their own sites and go from there. It's a fair bit of overhead, it's not actually, like, too much overhead, but it is, like, getting a domain, uh, hooking it all up, um, Hosting the Lemmy off that, setting up the config, and then, like, starting to follow things so that it actually, like, federates with things. That's... You know, that's a fair bit of work for someone who's just gonna, like, start doing troll posts. And maybe some people are gonna still do troll posts, but... That's okay. Uh, so now Shoal Cave, by the way, is all filled with water. So let's now give it another exploration, this time with a bit more... With a bit more I can see. Also, I've got a cast one at the front, and it's probably not a problem with this sphere, but it will be a problem with just the zoo bats later on. So let's uh, switch them out for Kiproni. Yes, I would like to just use Surf right away. Uh, so I would probably like to end up there. That'd probably be a good spot. that green outline. What is that? Um, so to go back to Reddit, one kind of uh, thing or response to the whole um, uh, we're gonna lock down forever is, hey, you guys technically do this for free. Also, technically, I guess, is there, is there something you agree to when you become a mod of a large subreddit? I, I, I guess it's just you know, Reddit admins have, uh, they do it for free, they do do it for free, yeah. Um, but yeah, is there a certain, like, you know, code of conduct that you sign up for in order to become a Reddit mod? Um, I'm not too sure, but I guess since you were never getting paid, um, you probably don't have a contract and therefore they're just free to do whatever. Um, Anyway, multiple Reddit, uh, mods, uh, noteworthy, a one from Reddit Tumblr, another one from Reddit Piracy, um, got shut down, basically. Uh, they got kicked out of their, um, of the modding positions, um, pretty much without a whimper. They got a DM and that was it, or I think one of them flat out was like, yeah, no, I didn't even see anything, I just, I wasn't on this list anymore, and... You know, the, the, the permissions I had were just not there. Uh, and uh, to that I go, this should be, like, I think Reddit is 100% uh, in their, like, correct position. Uh, I, I want to be careful with how I say this. Reddit is perfectly, like, okay 
doing this. But Reddit is not putting the user's interest in mind, and, and this was something I mentioned yesterday. I forgot the word, I'm gonna... I found the word. Uh, there's a term called enshittification, which is a, uh, a corporate kind of uh, word to basically mean uh, when a product becomes worse over time purely because it makes more money and not because it actually improves the customer satisfaction. There's a certain point where you can't keep making the product actually better. You have to just scrape for money. It's gotta be more than just that. I only picked up like two of the... Oh, I picked up three of the shells. Uh... What would the last one be? I know there's a lot less cave when it's all filled like this. Um, is it not? It's not like down here. No, no. Is it over on the left? Yeah, it's a lot smaller of a cave because it's like, well, you don't have all the underground stuff going on. So, um, but yeah, no. Reddit is in the uh, like the technical right. I don't think they are in the like practical right. If that makes sense. Uh, whatever Reddit is doing, I'm like, bro, that, like, I don't believe it is, um, good for Reddit the product to be, you know, charging these crazy prizes for the API, first of all. And then for also, like, feeling like your users don't get to hear their voice heard. Um, because, like, the internal messages of, we will wait this out, it's like, no, like, people want... A compromise. People legitimately want like somewhere in, in the middle. Uh, they've got demands, they've got like, you know, uh, like a, a few things they actually really, really want, but uh, where is this, this shell? I think they're all in like this inner sanctum as well. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, yeah, like Reddit, um, you know, in order to actually regain the trust of its users does need to make it sound like people are actually getting heard. There's not enough PR communication with this, really. It seems that the people who have been in communication, which has been the Reddit's fun guy, like, a couple of times, and then it's like, hey, I want to talk about this one thing, and it was like, no, like, they never actually reached out to, to him after a while. And then Reddit claims they did, and it's like, no, I, I legit, like, didn't. And, uh, you know, maybe it's a little bit he said, she said, but it's also like, yeah, like, hey, you know, you got called out for not talking to someone, the easiest way to remedy that is to immediately book a meeting with that person. And I know it's like, oh, you know, what if it's a bit, you know, like a troll or a pressure, but like, legit, like, this is someone who has been so much, so much attention on him. There's a shell bell, by the way. The shell bell is kind of cool. Uh, the shell bell's chime, it's simply divine. Uh, the shell bell, I believe, um, what's the, what does it do? It heals you for one-eighth of the damage you deal, which is a very interesting, um, uh, a very interesting kind of item, because, uh, yeah, if you're attacking a Pokemon with lots of HP, that actually is going to do a lot of healing for you, and, uh, you know, if you're going uphill and damage, again, it's, it's pretty good, so, it's worth going around. Um, let's have a second stab at the gym. I'm still a little on the fence of whether I'm actually good enough to, to handle this, but sure, okay. Actually, I'm gonna still rock cast form. I'll do this, I'll do this. I know Sedimentar can't do like too much while he's like, you know, like rock throw is just not going to do much damage, but I think the idea of setting up light screen and amnesia is going to, like, actually just make him crazy bulky. And that might be what I really want out of this. Maybe. 
Maybe. I don't know if I've really got this. Um, so yeah. Uh, firing mods. I mean, you know, they're in the right because the mods are also acting out of line. But the, the deeper problem is, yeah, like, why are the mods acting out of line? It's because they're not being heard. Why are mods not being heard? There's a PR breakdown. The mods are important parts of Reddit. Even if you don't pay them, you can't just peeve off your mods. You, you, like, I, I guess the, the problem with that is that, well, the mods got replaced and the replacements are equally as cheap and also somewhat gullible. Like, a lot, of, a lot of these mods did feel super upset about this, and I'm like, well, you were a Reddit mod, like... The, like, not saying you deserve what you're getting, but that, like, you allowed yourself to get what you got. That's the problem. So... To which I go, well, some of them have jumped ship. Uh, I know the person who was a uh, mod of Reddit piracy is uh, now on Lemmy, posting some things, so... Um... You know, at least there's a, uh, there is a, a shift going on, and I think there'll be enough people on Lemmy to at least make it l livable. You know, it doesn't need to be as big as Reddit. It just needs to be somewhat, somewhat popular. Okay, how are we doing this? We're doing the rain dance, we're doing the light screen. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. What's the point? This is my one catch with Sedimentar, is that I know he is still crazy slow. And Lunatone is just gonna come in here, like... Uh... I mean, I do want to spam Weather Ball on particularly Solrock. See, I don't trust I'm actually gonna be able to, like, get this hit. Yeah, because he's just gonna keep spamming Sunny Day. I need a fast sweep! Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna change the strat right up. I, I feel like, well... Getting, getting sleep, like, straight away is not exactly worthwhile. I feel like having rain dance and surf just right off the bat is probably the strat. Um, But yeah, the problem with rain dance is that it's like, uh, and, and this is a general double problem issue, is that it's not just like, oh, my move is now after yours. It's like, I need cast form to be using rain dance, and then Swampert to be using surf. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Day one. He's going for it. See, now that's the damage I wanted. It's the fact that that, like, that light screen was goofing me over the first time. Uh, alright, cast form, keep trying. Uh, I am switching out to, uh, Nonogram to take that solar beam, because that is, uh, real, real girthy. I guess, in theory, you know, I don't think Nonogram could really live, but in theory, yeah, like, that's the problem. really spamming hypnosis, isn't he? Like, that's that's just his strat. Uh, yeah, okay, go back to Kip. The Calm Mind is not going to be fun for taking out the Lunatone, but that's okay, I've got some things I can do against that. Oh boy. Last one is now vulnerable, but that's okay, because now he's used Rain Dance, but I don't know, I think the Lunatone is just going to respond with Sunny Day every time he uses Rain Dance. So in fact, I'm going to keep spamming Rain Dance. That's my strat, is to never let him. Oh, there's the light screen, dang it. Yeah, let's, let's just keep unsunny daying him. If only I had Solar Beam, that would actually be the, the like, juke as well. But yeah, we just need to keep, keep 
pushing through Soul Rock. That's the, that's the only thing. Once once it's just Lunatone, Lunatone can be taken down. Uh, sort of. As long as he doesn't use Calm Mind enough that he just... Oh. Okay, well, that's okay because... Let's get Sedimentar to do some setup now. There you go. I needed some misses on that hypnosis, I tell ya. This will do a bit more damage because of the sunny day. Oh, sorry, because of the rain, uh, the rain dance. So that's good, that's good. I'm expecting some, some TMs. That's my only problem. Yeah, I, I was expecting a Hyper Potion. So they both use the Hyper Potion? Man, you know, that, uh, that Lunatone is, uh, Really land in those hypnosi. Hypnoses with an ES. Right, the Solrock doesn't have the supports here. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I got this. Alright, Sunny Day might be my goof now. Lunatone is still way too bulky. Sunlight is strong, which is not going to be the most fun. So let's switch out to uh, Nonogram. Why not? Oh wait, wrong one. Wrong one. Switching out. Sedimentar is going to keep trying that light screen. What's the PP on Hypnosis? It's 10, isn't it? Oh, really, you got another Hyper Potion. Oh, I got outplayed. I could have used Surf for one more turn. There you go, that's all I need. Alright, uh, Amnesia. Uh... Can I use... Shadow Ball? Yeah, because they're not... Yeah, actually, yeah. I can do Shadow Ball. Uh... Well, I am asleep and, I don't know, I'll probably die. So, I, I'll probably just try and land the Shadow Ball. Yeah, I was probably gonna kill killed by that, yeah. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> the problem with double battles, you think you live and then it's like, nah. Uh, it's still sunny, so... Hmm. Let's go Riff Raff. I can, <laughs> you can tell exactly what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to make sediments are uh, stupid bulky. Uh, I'm gonna try and go for a Metal Claw. We'll see how this works. Now they're gonna use Psychic, but... Hey, look at that! Look at that! Look at that beautiful lack of damage. And there goes Riff Raff. <laughs> it's all about attrition. Uh, Rebox legit has no, like, plan. Like, I got nothing for Rebox, so... I'm gonna spam a revive? Level 42 is a fairly steep jump, isn't it? Oh, I got Confuse Ray. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because that Lunatone is going to spam Calm Mind, and that is going to kind of out-counter my, uh... Oh, there we go. This is going to kind of out-counter my, um, special defense increases, and also going to make it very awkward for anyone else, but... Yeah, Sedimenta, you got this, my man. Uh, okay, so, now what? <laughs> I guess do it. I guess I use Flamethrower on the Soul Rock. Um, and, uh... In theory, Shockwave? I guess? Heck yeah. He's probably not gonna do too much, nah. 
I just need that Sorok to get out of the way. It's going to be such a chip. This flamethrower is not going to be too much, but... It'll be a bit. It'll be... That's a bit of damage. That is a bit of damage. Oh, now we lost our light screen, but that's okay. Because I should be able to take out the Soul Rock now. You've got another Hyper Potion? That's the third Hyper Potion. I have still yet to throw a potion at this one. Ah, no. Now I can't do light screen. The only thing I gotta watch out for is if Sedimentar gets um, critted on. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's throw the revive at, uh, Castform. Will he live? Uh, maybe. Oh, look at that lack of damage. That's not a light screen. Oh, darn. I feel like they're gonna run out of PP at some point, like, I'm just spamming... Uh, the same kind of, like, moves over and over again. I'm gonna get Nonogram back in as well. Because Nonogram can at least do, like, a... Like a... Like a snap punch. Yeah, Rebox is kinda getting a bit... Goofed on. I don't feel like I should heal Rebox. Uh, let's just, let's just go in for it. Alright, uh... This is a bit overkill, but... <laughs> I know, it's a Hyper Potion on... On, a The one with, like, 60 damage, but... Okay, use that crit when you didn't have much health. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, let's bring out Nonogram, because it's still sunny for the moment. Excuse me. Oh. I swear that did way more damage last time. Uh, okay, I'm now going to use this opportunity to heal the much more health on Nonogram. And then Nonogram gets to use Shadow Ball on the Soul Rock. Which he can do first go. The Soul Rock does not have special or physical defense going on. Lowering the special defense is kind of, you know, sweetening the deal, but... Hopefully, Light Screen is doing... Hey! What part of hopefully Light Screen is doing its magic? Did you not listen to game? Come on. I guess they really don't want to attack Sedimenta right now, so... Okay, so... Uh... Let's get this going. I think... They... <laughs> it's... Ah... I don't know what to say about this. This is like a super stalemate fight. This will be good. Not too much on Lunatone, but... There you go. Finally. Okay. The threat... The threat of the Soul Rock is gone. And now... Because he's only got... Like... He's only got, um... Oh, the problem with the... the both Lunatone and Sol Rock as well, is that they both levitate. So a ground type attack, which normally is super effective, is, you know, doesn't do anything. And that's kind of annoying. Uh, Kipperoni is kind of going to cop it a bit. Oh. This is going to be an attrition fight, isn't it? Uh, do I even have enough time to try and rain dance, or do I just go in with a with a thunder? Maybe I should use hail. Ah. Well, we have turned this into a single battle. He's got to get burned at some point, right?
this is this is such a such a sloggy fight. I did not realize it would get this bad. Wow. Wow. It's because of that triple calm mind, isn't it? It's just the fact that, like he's up three defense three special defense stages. I'm up six special defense stages. <laughs> Oh my gosh, am I really... Oh. What did I do? I'm still curious, what did I do as a kid that I was like, perfectly smooth sailing when it came to like... The, um... You know, like, being able to sweep this gym. Is it because I had a grass type and I was like, oh, you know, I wasn't afraid of solar beam. Oh my... Another one. I just need a crit, actually. That's really all I need. This is, uh... Oh boy, that's five stages. That's all six. That's all six. This Lunatone has nowhere to go. What are you doing, Lunatone? Oh, this is... I... I have not experienced as, like, as much a struggle as this fight. Just get a crit, please. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Finally. Finally. At least a burn. I can work with the burn. This, this is a hilarious fight. Uh, so, the worst part, I might as well read out um, Solrock's, uh, sorry, uh, Lunatone's base stats just so you have an idea. He's got no strat! I think he's burned all his psychics! I think he's, he's burned all his psychics. The only thing he's got left is taking my sweet time. And apparently still being able to use Calm Mind. I think, I thought he had used enough Calm Minds. Okay. Uh, his base stats are 70 HP, 55 attack, 65 defense, 95 special attack, 85 special defense, 70 speed. It's not actually the strongest. It doesn't feel like too crazy strong, but it's just the fact that like, one, I guess he's level 42, and two, he's like, no. Uh, I got the double battle set up, but you know what? Finally! What's true? We're up to seven? And finally, Slugma evolved into Mag Cargo and is the right thing for the job, which is being the most obnoxious special defender in the world because they had no strat. They had nothing to do. Nothing to be able to, to deal with that, so. There we go. Uh, that and TM04. TM04 contains Calm Mind. Guess what? I have written down I actually want to teach Calm Mind to a certain Pokemon of mine. That is right. Calm Mind gets to go to... Where, where'd it go? Oh, it was four. It was right at the top. I missed it. Calm Mind gets to go to Grumpig. Because it increases your special attack and your special defense. And I thought, yeah, that might be a pretty neat attack. Um, so which one do I want? I, yeah, Psywave is just less and less useful as you go throughout the game. Whereas, like, being able to just boost your special attack by a bit, as well as also being a special defender. That's, that's the magic, so. With that, that is seven gym badges down. Oh my gosh, that that was a, a bit horrendous, wasn't it? Uh, do, 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 do. Now here's something as well. I didn't really think this through, um, <laughs> because uh, I've already taught Surf to Mudkip or to Swampert now, 
Um, Swampert can learn the other HMs that you need, uh, but you, you need to be able to use not only Surf, but now Waterfall and Dive, or now Dive, and uh, eventually Waterfall as well. Uh, there are a couple of Pokemon that can probably handle that. Uh, I'm trying to think which one is the most appropriate one. Um, I think I could probably catch a Whalmer. Let's try and get a Whalmer. Whalmer will be my, uh, my new HM Slate. The nice thing is that there is a good chance of actually getting a Whalmer, uh, purely by using, uh, the key item. We got the Super Rod. There's a 60% chance you get a Whalmer. You gotta make sure you hit A when it's the right time. Oh, 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 oh. Dang it. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm pretty sure uh, Whalmer and actually Sharpedo is the other Pokemon you can get. Whichever one I get, I'm trying to catch it. Because yeah, I can learn uh, Surf, Waterfall, Dive, and uh, and uh, Strength. It can also learn Rock Smash if you want to teach it that. So since I could probably bring Swampert, I'll probably teach it just the other four HMs and call it a day. There you go, there's Whelma. Alright, cast form, do your job. It's been a while since I caught something, hasn't it? Uh, can I deal one more? Or? Nah, it doesn't look like I can do one more. So we're going to have to wing it. Okay, just a regular Pokeball, <laughs> nothing too fancy on this one. Dang it. Oh, he's got the Whirlpool as well. That's not a HM in this game. That's a HM in the last game. That's fun that, um, uh, and th that was something I guess interesting is the fact that the HMs in Gold and Silver, they used the same five HMs, but they also threw in Whirlpool and, um, and Waterfall as HMs. This game, it's... Well, Rock Smash is a HM now. It used to just be a TM that you'd use. Um, here we go. We'll call him... Uh, call him Jonah. Too good, but... uh. Yeah, the, the fact that Whirlpool got demoted from HM status into a TM in this game. Actually, is it even a TM? I think it is still a TM. Um, and then they replaced it with Dive, and then brought in uh, Rock Smash. And then uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Dive ceases to be a HM in the next gen. Um, and uh, they replace it with Defog, which is like, the most worthless HM of them all. Uh, so, okay, as much as I like Mad Cargo and he was cool, he is totally gonna get caught out for quite a while. Because I'm just gonna be going up against water types for so long. Hmm. Maybe? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's teach him some HMs. Alright, we're teaching him, uh... Strength, because I do want to get rid of Strength on Swampert, um, but I don't think I need to get rid of it just now. Uh, I want to replace it with a Return, so there's not really any uh, any huge push. Jo all of Jonah's moves set is just going to get replaced with HMs, so he's got Strength, he's got uh, Rock Smash. I don't know why the HMs are out of order as well. I mean, they were out of order in the first game, but it's weird that, like, Dive is, uh, the eighth HM, and Waterfall is the I guess Waterfall was the seventh in the last game, so maybe that's why. And Dive. It's not compatible. Here we go. So, yeah, uh... Moral with the, the Reddit thing, I should probably just finish off with that. Um, 
the, the Reddit thing is a bit of a mess, and I think that it really shouldn't have happened. I guess that's the, the, the big thing. Um, Reddit needs to be, you know, much more accommodating and shouldn't, you know, make their servers worse just to sell, just to make money. I think there was a degree of they had very unfettered API access, and a lot of people, including the people developing the third-party apps, were like, yeah, I'm fine with paying for some API usage. It's just that the prices they set were so out of whack, and never mind, they also had a bunch of other policy changes that effectively ruled out the ability to um, use, well, third-party apps in the same way now. And that's not good. That's not fun. Um, I've got Cast One at the front, but I'm actually going to put Rebox at the front. Just because Rebox has a electric type attack. So, uh, anytime you see these dive spots, uh, hanging around the map, like, uh, here, for example, just with these darker patches of water, press A, and you can now use Dive, where you'll go under the surface and then proceed to see not a lot of interesting stuff, but you'll find heart scales, uh, in places, and heart scales are very useful because they will let you teach your Pokémon old tricks, which is very nice. Uh, keep going south and you'll end up on Route 126, that's right, we're gonna be fighting more and more trainers, uh, in some way, but we'll keep exploring around. Grumpig, Grumpig. Uh, you'll also start seeing these rocks turn white. Uh, that is your sign that you're actually near the next city, but we're not going to the next city because you had to remember that Team Aqua were getting away. And you just have to recall that they they said they had a secret base on Route 127. Where is Route 127? Well, it's not here. Um, there's a uh, bunch of Pokemon as well, and I just want to also name drop the Pokemon. So, uh, under the water, um, you'll be able to find... Uh, oh gosh, what Pokemon are you able to find under water? Are we even going to list them? Are they listed on this page? I don't think they are. No, they're not exactly listed here. What a shame, they should be. Oh well. Uh, I'll keep going around, I'll keep finding more trainers, you know. Hello, kiddo! Oh, okay. Oh, they got a gold in. Alright, we need we need some uh, some levels on Rebox. Yeah, it I don't know, the Reddit stuff's a bit of a mess, and I I'm personally under the opinion that Lemmy is um I mean defederated solutions are always the best. One, okay, first of all, social media is unfortunately not the right platform for being the be all end all source of information. As much as I think uh, this past week we've experienced that Reddit, like, has been, you know, key search results, and then you go to the link and it's like, oh, the subreddit's closed. That's been a very annoying thing over the past few weeks. That is something that Reddit should be capitalizing on, but they aren't, for some reason. So if you go in here and then you swim up through this cave, you'll end up in Sutopolis City. You don't exactly have to end up here, but, uh... It's kind of neat, so... Uh, Sutopolis City is a, uh, city, uh, basically in the center of a, of a crater. Like, it's an actual meteor crater. It's all white. Um, there's not a ton of stuff you can actually do here. Um, and we'll be coming back here later. Like, you can't go to the gym, and there's a cave in the back that you can't exactly go to. I'm actually... Oh, which... Which way in particular? I'll do a proper exploration here. But there's a guy... Vampire, at its peak, there are two orbs placed side by side. Did you know? Yes, two orbs side by side, the side of them together. It is somehow soothing. I've, I've never been out of the city. I wonder what the world is like on the other side of the round sky. Listen up, and I'll tell you something good. There's supposed to be an ancient ruin in the sea around here. There could be treasures just waiting to be discovered down there. Ancient treasures! It'd be nice if they existed, but even if they didn't, it'd be so pitiful to take an underwater stroll with my Pokémon! Rip stroll. Actually, did stroll in the points today? 
Maybe? Someone remind me who, who won the... The race. Oh, okay. There's a guy here in Sutopolis City. He trades for a bar boach. Um... I don't have a bar boach. No shroomish? Shroomish has to be bigger. Actually, sorry, they don't trade. Uh, I think literally the guy on the left gives you an ether, and the guy on the right gives you an elixir. They're cool. That's not a trade. You're first guess in a good while. You've up my day, so I'll give you a whale medal. Okay. Okay, sure. I think the guy I'm actually looking for is on the opposite side of the, the city. It's kind of annoying if you go here and it's like, yep, you need a Pokemon with Surf. Sort of good luck, but you also probably should have a Pokemon with Surf. And if you don't, you can fish for him, so. Uh, da da da. Where's the guy? Is he just chilling here? Is this the guy? Hmm, you come all the way to Sotopolis, you know, ordinary tourist, but I suppose it doesn't make you an extraordinary tourist either. Thank you, my bro. Appreciate it. Maybe he's in the house. I think he's in the house, the guy I'm looking for. Yeah, this guy. For 30 years I've remained in Sutopolis, honing my skills. I developed a shattering TM. I bequeath it to you. This, I need it as well. This, <laughs> I'm picking up all the TMs I need. This is Brick Break. It's a move so horrible I can't describe it. And he doesn't describe it. But uh, I will teach Brick Break uh, to the one and only Riff Raff. Uh, it's a physical attack. We can actually see the, the stats here. It's a physical attack that uh, destroys Reflect and Light Screen. It would have been very useful in the last gym, but that's okay, because uh, I, I definitely don't want Scratch, really. Uh, it's lower PP, but it's also, hey, that's a, that's a good amount of power for what it is. And to be honest, there's a bit of Light Screen and Reflect business going on in the Elite Four, so it's actually not the worst attack to have. Um, and it's physical, which is kind of a Norris, uh, you know, bread and butter, so... It's really the only thing I wanted to come in here for. Uh, but I guess I can fly here, so that makes it a bit easier. Uh, technically there is water, uh, when you surf around as well. I think it's exclusively Magikarp. I think you can actually catch a, uh, Gyarados as well. Um, uh, the way the underwater works is, I don't think the routes are actually connected underwater, but there's a bit of, like, you know, stuff going on. Like, hold on, I'll just open up the map. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, it's gonna be so hard to find all the trainers, but basically I think there's like a ring, a diveable ring around this city. I want to go to Route 127. That's, that's your key tell, and 127 isn't too, like, wide. So, you'll know when you're there, but... Is there something that's blocking me off east? I've, I've forgotten. I'm pretty sure you can just go east. Yay! Yeah, 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 you can just go east. Now, Route 127, I'm pretty certain the layout is, uh, it's like a long, um, like vertical kind of, um, chasm. But you want to keep following it. Oh, it's south. Oh, oh, maybe not. So the music here is so serene. Just casual star piece, okay. Uh, I don't think this is quite the right spot to dive in. It's very confusing as well, because you got all these rocks and stuff in the upper bound. There's multiple of these vertical chasms. Uh, yeah, the weird thing, I think, if I actually recall, you don't actually fight Pokemon in when diving underwater. There's grass under the water that you then fight them. But when you're on the surface, oh, you find Pokemon all over the place. It's just kind of interesting. So I'm pretty sure this is like, this is like a, like a fork, like a Y-shaped fork, so it'll go up. You don't actually have to go up here, I'm pretty sure it's just like being somewhere else. And yeah, there's a, there's a wall here, so... It's a very Game Boy Advance looking, you know, environment. Another heart scale. I think there's only a set amount of heart scale, so... I'm now just underwater, but... 
you follow along, I'm pretty certain you'll find the key. I would have thought it would have looked at a place like that. There you go. That looks a bit more like it. It looks almost exactly the same, but you know it's the right place because you'll find the submarine in there. And, uh, welcome to the Seafloor Cavern. I'll continue on, don't worry. I'm not in the stream just yet. Now, yeah, there's a lot of trainers I have not fought, so... I'm sort of curious how well this is gonna go, because you need to do a double gym leader fight, effectively. Uh, also, there's strength puzzles. This is why you need both Rock Smash and... Like, you need four HMs. You need Rock Smash, you need um, Strength, you need Surf, and you need Dive in order to get here. You don't need Fly, I guess, and you don't need um, uh, Cut. And you don't need Waterfall, because we haven't gotten it yet. We don't need a kid around. Go home. Go back to your home. Um, so yeah, they're really spamming the HMs here. And this is uh, perhaps a sentiment I think a lot of people are like, Ah, oh, you know, there's so many HMs you need. Um, so, uh, let's... I can't use Dark Water, can I? Sorry, uh, Psychic, because uh, Dark doesn't hit it. Dang. I'm remembering my type combinations off the top of my head. He's probably got Bite as well, so this is probably not quite the best for me to stay, stay out. Or we could just keep using Taunt, for sure. Um, same rules apply to all Team Aqua and Magma Grunts. You'll be finding Team Magma people down here, but the exact same rules apply. The Poochinas and the Zubats are the same, and the Carvanas in my game are actually numerals in your game. It's still the same rules. For having two separate, like, you know, villains, I'm just kind of surprised that, like, the villains seem to have very similar teams, but I guess, yeah, you know, you want to save costs, and players are not really gonna, you know, be noting the exact Pokemon that are the same between versions. So, uh, this cave, uh, it's just a cave, basically. There's nothing really too secret, um, about how it's all laid out. Whoop. That submarine, it's tiny inside, I'm sore all over! Uh, there's three trainers, actually, before you even get to the... Um, get to the double gym battle, but they're definitely higher level. I guess the difference is that they don't have a double battle, like, kind of killer team going on. And I threw my cargo out, which is perhaps... Perhaps not a good move? I don't know, we'll see. Now I'm trying to remember, what's the layout of this place? Uh... No, you can't. Oh, you can deal with that. You can deal with both. Uh... Yeah, maybe not. Okay. It's a weird layout. I, I don't recall at, at all how this uh, dungeon works. I'm just like, you know, I'm along for the ride again. And just seeing a whaler every so often. Uh, okay, so now where we go? We're on this room. Uh, which now, oh yeah, I remember this whole room full of, like, strength rocks. So, I'm pretty sure it's, like, six or seven or eight rooms. It's, I mean, this is the dungeon of the game. Like, we're expecting the worst. Huh. I went all that way just to loop back around. Okay, sure. Let's see, uh... I mean, I don't think this should really be a blocker no matter which direction you come in from. I 
Ah, I... No, I see, actually. No, I don't, actually. Like, I'm just thinking, no matter where they put that rock on the top left one, you could just break that rock in any direction. And if you don't have Rock Smash, there's no way of getting past that. So... What's that about? Alright, uh... That, this is what I mean. The, the, the maze stuff, it's back. Um, yeah, pretty pretty normal cave. So Zubats and Golbats all over the place. I might find tentacles while I'm surfing. You can fish and you'll maybe find Whalmers. Uh, oh, going back. Go up and around. I'm pretty certain you can, yeah, end up inside. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me? It just leads back outside. Oh, no. Who did this? Who made it so going into that cave leads you back out to the very beginning of the whole dungeon? <sighs> the weirdest part as well is that there are... There is one singular item to find in this whole dungeon as well. Uh, and it's in the last room. Like, you're gonna converge in one room. Now I'm trying to recall, like, hmm, you know, there was that other room that looked like it had another pathway. I'm curious if going up here it's gonna lead back into that room. So... I can definitely go around. There you go. Oh boy. Maybe it's a fork in the pathway, like going to the right. Yeah, this is a different surfing room, but it's the same principle. And then it's like, okay, how do you how do you manage all these boulders? And it's I mean it, you can probably see it, the solution right here, which is just uh, that, and then you want to push that down, there you go. Okay, I'm going to get my butt kicked by a trainer, so... Let's see, what should I do about this? I... Oh, I've got a strat. Let's bring out old cast form... Let's see if this works. Ha ah, how did you manage to get here without a submarine? What an impressive child, but it won't, it won't do to have you meddling about it. And I do want payback for what happened at the Weather Institute. I'm going to give you a little taste of pain. Resign yourself to it. Uh, so in comes uh, the first of two, uh, I guess, admins. This is Shelly yet again. Shelly is coming out with a Sharpedo. Uh, the Sharpedo knows crunch, which might not be very kind to me. Oh, that's, that's, that's a bit, that's a bit not kind. I should be able to handle it, I just, I'm just worried I'm not going to handle the next one as well. Ah, uh, thunder please. Oh. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. See, so yeah, Crunch is going to absolutely wreck Rebox here. Uh, well, let's go with a shockwave. Ah, uh, screech, okay. Like, yeah, I'm gonna die even quicker, but it's gonna happen anyways. Uh, so this shot Peter knows crunch, screech, slash, and taunt. Uh, nothing too iffy, just crunch is kind of my, you know, my death knell. Uh, if you're going up against, uh... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, if you're going up against, uh... Magma Admin Courtney, uh, in, uh, Pokemon Ruby, uh, it'll know, it'll be a camera up that knows Earthquake, Rock Slide, Amnesia, and Takedown, which is probably Mina. Uh, here comes the Mighty Ina. The Mighty, Mighty Ina. Uh... I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep rocking it. I'm gonna keep rocking it. This is gonna be an interesting one. We'll see what happens. Because then at least, like, I can take the Intimidate. 
Um, Mighty Ina for both knows takedown, scary face, swagger, and roar. Nothing that's actually dark type, so no need to worry anymore, but definitely, uh, you know, might need to... Oh, oh. Yeah, I was expecting that. Okay, uh... Yeah, I might as well just go on with Kipperoni. Because it's still raining. Nope, it's not raining anymore. That's okay, because I've got... Much shot, I guess. I mean, this mighty Eno doesn't have, like... Nah, he's, he's got nothing. He ain't got nothing on me. I mean, this fight isn't too bad, but it's more the fact of like, well, there's another fight afterwards that is a bit more, more, you know, thrown at it. Riff Raff grew to level 32, nice. Ouch! And my problem is, yeah, I can't keep going. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> not good enough to keep going, so I'm gonna do the, uh, the quick get out of jail free card. We heal, and then we'll come back. Here we go. Up and out. How convenient. Well, it's not that convenient because it's not that close to any, like, town. Now, I guess you'll see what this looks like on the outside. Um, there's probably a, a butt ton of trainers that, like, I might still be able to, like, run into on the way as well. Like this guy. There is no stronger trainer than I. That is not true. At all. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so I guess a little bit of a engagement feedback. Oh, he's got a shift tree! Oh, cool! Hopefully it doesn't have Mega Drain. It's got Harden. That's not, that's not as nice, but sure, okay. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, but yeah, if you... <sighs> the darn hyper potions on regular trainers. My death now right there. At least he doesn't have two hyper potions. But he does have... Nature power, which is like, oh, okay, sure. Um, but yeah, uh, so engagement, I guess. Like, what are your th thoughts? If anyone has any thoughts on the Reddit thing, um, yeah, I, I'm personally of the opinion of, you know, Reddit, Reddit is gonna do this, but people should realize that, like, you are like the <laughs> you're the means of production here. But like, Reddit doesn't exist without its users, and the users shouldn't be this rotating door. Don't. Like, if you, personally, don't actually care about Reddit, don't participate in it. Don't even say, like, oh, I use an ad blocker. No, like, you actually engaging in things, having an account, and typing things in, or hitting upvotes, or whatever, you are actually, like, more valuable than the ad money. The ad money doesn't mean anything. It's the investors who are going, oh, look, you know, 10, 10 million active users. Stop being an active user. That doesn't mean you can't stop using Reddit, but, like, you gotta become a lurker if you're gonna do that. Don't, yeah, don't just... I'm gonna take out this guy, though, because I'm, I'm gonna fight him on the way back, so... Uh, but yeah, yeah, do something like that. Um, if you want to participate in uh, some other social media, uh, yeah, Lemmy is great. Um, I'm gonna switch to... Monogram. I have an autogram session today. getting swift eat. Uh, let's do Sword Sands. Builder up Bubble Cup. Camouflage. Ooh. And now I should just proceed to sweep this whole trainer. Who apparently might have four stars. Maybe. Um... 
But yeah, if you, if you want to, if you do need to really participate in something, you know, like Lamy is a good place. Don't use it as a repository of information. You should be using uh, more static sites or things that get peer reviewed a bit more. Um, I usually I like the idea of actually hosting more information on GitHub or other Git like services. Like if you don't want to do GitHub, um, use Gitia. Um, or something like that. If you like, use that as a repository of information. I think that's actually a great way of going about it. Um, it's obviously wikis. Wikis are a bit like here and there. Um, and I know Gub is like, "Hey, I just want to type text. It's super overkill." I kind of get it, but on the other hand, I'm like, "Yeah, I super do trust people aggregating information in GitHub. Like, you know, hey, you can see the history over time." That's, that seems like such a useful thing. You can actually store files. Uh, GitHub itself is, you know, GitHub is a weird one because like I still don't quite get the monetization of GitHub, but GitHub is currently like, despite being bought by Microsoft, it hasn't gone terribly. I think the worst that it's done is uh, they trained the, the co-pilot stuff clearly off any marked as open source project. Um, and a lot of people don't, they didn't really consent to that, but it's also kind of like, well, your source code is open source, like, you know, it's in the license somewhat, somewhat. <laughs> um, so I, like, be a bit stricter. GPL that, GPL your license, please. But a lot of people, MIT or WTF, like they do, they do these very lax licenses and then they get upset when, when people use their material for AI training. So, stop being the AI training, effectively. Oh, I've been doing some, like, local running of Llama models. I've, I've finally figured out how to get that stuff working, although some people have also done uh, wondrous things in making it easier. You know, stuff like just, hey, here's a Docker container. Drop the model in, go for it. Like, that's a lot easier than, uh, you know, make filing and everything just goes wrong because a lot of open source projects don't exactly balance their make files. Uh, let's put Nonogram up the front just because he's fast and will flee from everything. So I'm feeling sort of confident that I can take out the, the trainer here. Um, the nice thing at least is that this is indeed the boss trainer. There's no other trainer on the way. There is a clear end point I want to, like, note of the stream. I'm curious how long it will take. Um... You kind of have to scour around the place. They don't... they really don't tell you, like, much about, uh... They don't tell you much about, uh, how to find this. You just gotta spot it. Painfully obvious once I know it's there, but yeah. Uh, and yeah, other than that, I mean, yeah, I, I think there is a degree of we can start turning the internet around. I think there's too much emphasis on these large websites, and I sort of had the thought as well that like search engines um, inherently promote like this centralization of information, which is not quite the greatest, because yeah, like, at a, on a flick of the, the wrist, flick of the wrist? A snap of the fingers, like, Reddit can, you know, start to crack down on things. Reddit ultimately wants that IPO. I worry that they might have soured their moment of doing that. Um, like, Reddit now is like, hey, you know, like, what is people's opinions of Reddit right now? They don't listen to users. A lot of their site doesn't work anymore. Like, you go to search results, you just keep getting told that there's information you can't see. That is an incredibly aggravating thing, and now I shall associate that with Reddit. I, I will probably not let this moment down. Um, I'm, it's not like a... What, like, was it a villain arc moment? It's, it's not something I would truly ingrain in my psyche, but it is something that, like... I think this is potentially one of the larger moments of reddit the site and i mean in the grand scheme of things reddit isn't too important but it is one of the largest sites on the internet um in terms of like the amount of user traffic it, it gets and 
I, I think it's important to note that, like, why it's gone wrong. Because if you run a large company, you probably want to also prepare for the same kinds of problems that could happen. Uh, okay, so... What's my strat? I'm sending cast form into this one. Gosh, they, they went all out with the strength puzzles, didn't they? Uh, so I think you go up. He's doing so well. He's doing so well without needing another thing coming in the way. Alright, up, up. Push that across. I remember my mates used to get so stuck on, like, this puzzle. Because it's, I mean, this is a pretty gnarly, like, <laughs> culmination of all the strength puzzles. Uh, once you're in a misty room, I think this is it. This cave looks a little different, because it's, it's, like, it's got to have a lava thing at the bottom. Uh, but here's TM26, which is very useful. Uh, it is the TM4 Earthquake, which is actually an incredible move. Earthquake is one of the greatest moves you can actually get. Um, I'm going to try my best to not actually teach Swampert it. Swampert will naturally learn it at level 52. But I also kind of feel... Is he even going to reach level 52 by the end of the game? I mean, he's only 36 now. I don't think the game is going to last that much longer. Um, so we get down to the bottom. Hold it right there. F you, F you, F you. So it was you, after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is. The sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon, Kyogre. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. That's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. <laughs> so this is our inevitable end point of the Team Aqua storyline. The final showdown with Archie. He comes out with a level 41 Myena, or Maxi, if you're fighting Team Aqua. Uh, Raw, Swagger, Scary Face, and Takedown. That is correct. That is the exact same move as the last Mighty Ina. I'm going to start with the Rain Dance. I'm faster than this Mighty Ina. Interesting. The Rain Dance will probably give me the edge I need. The only problem is this might... Yeah, okay. okay. Let's kick him with the Weather Ball. So, level 41, it, I mean, it's lower level than the, um, the last gym. Oh, that's my speed, that might mean I'm slower than the... Yeah, I'm gonna be slower than the Mine Eater now. You know what? Use the Super Potion now. I think, I think this Mine Eater is probably the safest thing to dump a Super Potion on. You know, use another one while you're at it. Just use both super po Oh. Oh, he's kicking in with the swagger. This is gonna be a bit interesting, because I do want cast form to like I sorta of want cast form to sweep. Ah, uh, I don't think he's gonna sweep. Cause I'm taking so long now. Oh, this take down might take out the cast form. Ooh! Oh no, this is bad. Oh, legend. Legend cast form. Absolute legend. Alright, okay, Riff Raff scanned a bit. Okay, it's gonna send out Crobat. Um. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to Rebox on this one. As much as I wanted to kind of sweep, Crobat is gonna be faster and I'm not gonna really live and so, okay, we'll stick with that. Crobat, again, same on both ends, uh, for both, uh, you know, team leaders. Uh, it'll know Air Cutter, which is a bit of a mean attack, Wing Attack, Bite, and Confuse Rate. Ooh, Bite, not Crunch. But it is a Crobat, so keep your wits about you. That, that is going to hit decently hard. Whoa. I don't know if I'm going to take him out, but you know what? Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's a super potion? Super potion? I don't know why he's not using hyper potions. I still don't know if I'll take him out, but... 
This might be close. This might be real close. Oh, we're doing it again. We cut it real fine. This is the nice thing. Even though that your level is lower, your opponents don't really have effort values. They don't have those extra stats. So your Pokemon, surprisingly, will do okay. Uh, last one is a Sharpedo. Um, yeah, let's just kick him with Nodogram. Why not? Uh, so, Sharpedo, this is level 43, which is, uh, fairly uphill, but you know what? Like, what we got here? I can't do Shadow Ball, really, so... Just kick him with a Sword Stance. I'm gonna start slashing. Uh, so, no, Screech, Slash, Taunt, and Swagger. Slash is definitely not a nice attack, but... Listen, I, I'm just relying on kind of dealing a lot of damage in one fell swoop. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. I've got a couple more that I can deal with. Um, let's see how Riff Raff goes. I'm just curious. Uh, so, with Riff Raff, I could probably use... Brick Break? Because he's going to bolt that and slash and there's his only attack here. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! <laughs> I love how, like, this guy's got Pokemon the same level as the, the double gym I had earlier. No sweat. Really no sweat. I arguably... Well, no, I could... I, I was gonna say, arguably I could have taken that one before, but then it's like, no, because I lost Grumpig and... Cast forward to the last person, so... There you go. I... I lost. F you, F you, F you. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted, but... I have this in my possession! With this red orb, I can make Kyogre! The red orb suddenly began shining by itself. Uh, my eyes! So, uh, I used the wrong orb. Actually, didn't they make a comment about how the orbs should never leave each other? The, like, they're right next to each other, right now. And then, and then he just goes, What? I didn't do anything. Why did the red orb... Where did Kyogre go? Hmm? It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm? It's raining heavily. Good, that should have happened. That is why we awaken Kyogre to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envision. You're in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The red orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? What have you wrought? You finally... Oh, Archie, you finally awoke in Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in deepening sea. The polar bears. <laughs> Think of the polar bears. What are you saying? The red orb should let me control Kyogre. That can't be possible. It's the blue orb, you idiot. It's, it's color-coded. We don't have time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if you've wrought... <laughs> see what you've wrought as the... Nah. <laughs> see if what you've wrought is the world that you desire. There you go. Bino, come on, you have to get out of here too. And, and, fortunately you don't have to go out. You're right here. What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I, I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry, we have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Bino, we Team Magma had been pursuing Team Aqua to prevent this from happening. You've been very helpful, but I fear the worst has happened. It's gone too far for a child like you to manage. Leave things to us and get out of here while you still can. This defies belief. A super ancient Pokemon, its power is unbelievable. It has upset the balance of nature. And then they just run off. You know, what is happening? This is terrible. This doesn't stop. Oh, Hoenn. No, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis? What in the world is taking place there? There's no point arguing here. Sutopolis should provide answers. You know, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Like a bunch of story just kind of dumps at you at once, but effectively, everywhere in the water is raining really hard. Uh, it just means that, I guess, if you fought anyone, it'd be counting as rain. No one responds to... No one responds to the rain on the way. They just kind of expect you to go to Tutopolis. Um, I love how long the flashes of lightning are, though. I guess that's something that they really wanted to show off, is the fact that they could do these weather effects out on the field, because that's something that uh, they didn't do in the previous ones. So... It is raining. That is true. And Cast Form is going to change forms. The 
unfortunately Sutopolis isn't that far away. Even if I don't have fly, it's like, eh, it's just over here. Uh, there's probably a bunch of trainers who have Pokemon weaker than the ones that I was just fighting. Um, okay, is there actually anything that writes down what Pokemon you can find while... There's gotta be, right? Ah, here we go, here we go. So, okay, underwater you can find three Pokemon that you probably can't find anywhere else. Clampel, Chinchow, and Relicanth. Relicanth is incredibly important. I would sort of just note that Relicanth is available via that. Clampel uh, and uh, Chinchow, I'm pretty sure you can get... I'm thinking Goribus, maybe that's somewhere else. Is that a different game? Actually, yeah, I think Clampel. Hold on, yeah, Clampel is an interesting one. Clampel evolves into Huntail or Goribus when you trade it while holding one of two different items: a Deep Sea, a Deep Sea Tooth, or a Deep Sea Scale. And a Deep Sea Scale, sorry, a Deep Sea Tooth, you can get in Slateport City. Uh, oh, you get a choice. The moves, the things are interesting as well because uh, while you haven't evolved Clampel. Uh, holding the tooth doubles Clampel's special attack, which is actually makes it gargantuanly strong for some reason. Like, it's got 74 special attack. Just doubling it? Ugh. You can double the special defense. The special defense is not as impressive. But doubling the special attack, oh boy. Too bad Clampel's other stats are not that amazing. Like, that's the, the biggest problem. Um, you could, of course, trade it, and then, yeah, actually the stats are pretty alright. Um, I'm pretty sure Huntel actually has... What's his base stat for a special attack? I don't know why Goribus is the highest special attack at 114. But Huntel's got 104 attack, 105 defense. That's pretty alright. I guess, you know, you're competing for a good water type though. Um, now comes the... Uh, this is the inevitable part of the game that I think people are probably... Oh, nice, nice freeze frame. Just save him, don't worry. It's gonna. Man, oh, you came too in this terrible rainstorm yet? Oh, yes. Can you hear out what my friend has to say? My name is Wallace. In this town's. I'm this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This downpour is caused by a power emanating from the Cave of Origin. It's the state of Origin on Wednesday. That. That is the blue orb. Go the blues. <laughs> It's because it's his hat. This rain. People and Pokemon need water to live. But why does this rain fill us with so much dread? The rain clouds over Sutopolis will keep building and soon extend all over Hoenn. If that would happen. So for reference, if you play um, Pokemon Ruby, there's a, um, a drought, basically. So it's super sunny the whole time. Um, no one from Sutopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go together with your blue orb. You must go regardless of what awaits you inside the cave. You know, I never expected you to be holding the blue orb. You'll be okay. With your Pokemon, you'll get things done no matter what. I'm convinced of it. So inside this cave, the Cave of Origin. It's like the State of Origin, but it's a cave. It's, uh... Oh, I mean, it's a cave. It's got Zubats. I should probably switch out to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna switch out to, uh... Uh... Nonogram just for the speed again. Um, but effectively, you'll find Zubats and Golbats for. Hmm. I never taught Flash to anyone, did I? Well. Do I still have the Whalmer on me? He doesn't learn Flash though, does he? Nah. Okay, well. The good news, the cave is fairly simple. You just go anti-clockwise and then it keeps rumbling. <laughs> there are... There is one item. There is one item to get. Uh, you'll find a Sableyes or more wilds in here, depending on what version you're playing. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just keep going clockwise around here. Okay, and then it gets all misty, and I'm pretty certain you need to just keep going, I guess. Yep, 
Yeah, there's a HM in here, and I'm just <laughs> making sure I don't miss the HM. Might be on the next floor. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's not really anything going on. He's just kind of circling around a, a pillar. Uh, wow, how does anyone actually miss that? I'm just, like, I'm stumbling around in the dark here. There you go. Oh, look, he's right there. That's right. It's finally that time of the game. Catch the legendary in no time. And not use the Master Ball. Hi there. Then the blue orb started glowing. This causes Kyoga to, instead of going angry and destroy the world, it causes Kyoga to... just be angry and go for you. Now Kyoga... Uh, knows four moves. So, or Kyoga is our legendary Pokemon. It's only water type, so... Don't be too surprised for any weird type. I forgot to... I sent the wrong type out, whoops. Um, my shtick was I was going to have Cast Form up front. Uh, Kyoga knows an ability called Drizzle. That causes it to rain. Right away. Which means Cast Form is actually super capable? Problem is I'm probably going to get wrecked. Yeah, okay, let's, let's... Well, actually, I might get wrecked either way. I might get wrecked either way. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, I think in theory... There's a chance that you could just throw a Pokeball and catch the Kyogre as well. So, I'm not going to be eternally stuck here, but maybe a bit annoyed, maybe. Uh, it knows, as you saw, Hydro Pump, which is a crazy strong water type attack. It also knows Ice Beam, Body Slam, and to top it off, Calm Mind, just to raise that special attack and special defense. So, uh, there's not a whole lot you can really do to take him out. Other than just keep rocking some physical attacks, I guess. And it's level 45, and I mean, it's the legendary. It's got high stats. What stats does he have? 100 attack, 100 HP, 100 attack, 90 defense, 150 special attack, 140 special defense, 90 speed. This thing is probably much stronger than you in almost every way. Good thing I can use. Oh! Oh no! Really? I had it. I had it for a moment. The music is like serious business though, I'll tell you that. Uh, now if you're going against, uh, is it Groudon or Groudon? I want to say it's Groudon, because it's ground. It's Groudon, right? Uh, and it's ground type. So, no sweat over that one. Uh, both are weak to grass. Just thought that's kind of interesting. Um, Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep keep rocking. You know, what's the worst that could happen? You know. Uh, let's just get him with a slash. I guess since it's eternally raining, you don't have to think about the the you know the trying to use a uh, rain dance. Um, but yeah. Uh, so Groudon uh, kind of inverts the stats. 100 HP, 150 attack, 140 defense, 100 special attack, 90 special defense, 90 speed. Uh, and uh, Groudon, in this scenario, knows Slash, Bulk Up, Earthquake, and Fire Blast. And Fire Blast is big oof because of the, the increased, you know, because of the weather. Nice. At least none of these Pokemon can heal themselves, so you're really just kind of gonna get wrecked by Hydro Pump in one one hit, like, every time. Um, I still got a Jonas in there. Although, Magcargo, Magcargo will get wrecked. There's no, there's no going about that one. Um, I'm in this weird point where, like, you know, I, I might as well just start throwing balls. I didn't really invest on... I think I might be okay here. Ice Cream's got a decent, like, it's 30% to... So I got kind of unlucky at the beginning, and that was it. I think that's the best I'm really going to be able to get before I lose all my attempts at throwing balls. So let's throw some ultra balls. We're going to try and not do this in a master ball. I could do it in a pokey ball, but I, I, I don't have the perseverance for that one. Uh, both Kyoga and Groudon, Groudon, uh, they have catch rates of three. That makes them incredibly hard to catch. 
Uh, it's just a really low chance. Um, like, I think it's like a 1.6% chance if you throw a Pokeball right away. Which isn't the worst. And I also don't know if that, uh, if the catch rate is... I think it is fixed in this game. It was kind of, well, like, corrected in this game. It used to be very broken in the last game. Because it was like, you had to pass a threshold before things could actually get caught. And that became nigh impossible for the legendaries. Um, so you'd have to, you would have to infect, uh, deliver a status condition in order to be able, uh, be able to have a chance. I don't really have a status condition, you know, strat right now. Carmine is not really, you know, my forte here. I feel like, yeah, the, the ground on is probably the easy one to, to go at. Well, I guess it's got bulk up, which is the, um, the physical equivalent of, uh, Calm Mind. Like, that Ice Beam is just gonna wreck me because of how many, like, Calm Minds it's been dropping. So... But yeah, even if it seems, you know, a little, a little hopeless, it's, it's all about getting that one catch. That's the important thing. It doesn't matter how many Pokeballs I throw at it, because I'm going to get killed before I really waste a lot of them. It just matters that one of them will catch. It's just like job applications or the lottery. You know, 90% of gamblers quit before they, they hit it big, you know? Right before they hit it big, even. So yeah, this guy is probably going to wreck me a bit, but, you know, it's expected. It's, like, seven levels higher than my highest level Pokemon, and its stats are insane. I'm probably going to get wrecked here, aren't I? Yeah, Hydro Pump's probably going to kill me. Okay, take take three, or four. Let's not get frozen this time. How about that? Uh, we're going to a Cast Form out. Having Cast Form is, like, pretty cool, though. Just the fact that, like... Even with the ground on, you can technically rock the idea of uh, being uh, sunny and then rocking solar beam as your strat. Well, you don't have to use, you know, ground on to or, or cast one to benefit from that. But like, that's the cool thing is that both solar beam and thunder have their utility as being like just a move that you can just spam immediately against against them. Okay, okay, he's gonna drop a Calm Mind to start off. That gives me a free Thunder, and we can actually see how well does Thunder do. I don't think it's gonna do a crazy amount. No. It's really not as much as I expected. I believe you can't override the weather. You could override it for like, one turn. But then it immediately changes back to being rain the next turn. Uh, I forget what happens when both a Kyogre and a Groudon appear in the same fight. Please hope this doesn't kill me. Okay. I was like, darn, it's just a bit of a random number. That being said, Nonogram is doing okay at just dealing a bit of damage. Probably because it's that special defense that caused... You know... That, that special defense is really boosting Kyogre there. I love just being faster than him though. Alright, this is gonna do a bit. Yep, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've got any moves that could deal anything meaningful. The best I could maybe do is, like, if I brought Mag Cargo back and I could do a burn, but... I don't think it's worth it. Okay, we got another chance to deal a bit more damage. Yeah, okay, okay. Do I keep it going once more with a uh, Kipperoni? Let's give it a go. Yeah, let's give it a go. With a strength. I feel like, I feel good. I feel good about this. Oh, oh, that uh, Hydro Pump's gonna wreck me. Yeah. Alright, let's just, let's just go and catch him. I'm running out of opportunities. Let's just go and throw in Ultra Balls. Uh, so Ultra Balls, I think, double your chance of uh, catching a Pokemon. 
Um, and a great ball is like 50% more, but you know what? That helps. Um, we don't have, uh, you know, watch out for the Master Ball. There's one, there is one clear Pokemon that you use that Master Ball on. Uh, there is one roaming Pokemon in this game, and that's what the Master Ball is going to be for. Don't burn the Master Ball on the Kyogre. Hydro Pump's only got 5 PP, so he can't spam it, like, infinitely, but he could also just kill 5 of my Pokemon with Hydro Pump, so... I love how also this is like the natural solution. This is a mythological creature that is about to cause like, you know, worldwide flooding. And you're just like, a ten send the 10 year old freaking to throw Pokeballs at it. Like, oh, why didn't I think of that? I guess you got the orb. That's probably what makes you special. But like, couldn't Steven just go, hey, give me the orb, I'll handle this. Like, I'd trust him. He let me see Kecleons. How would I not trust him? Yeah, I don't think my odds are particularly great every time I throw this. Like, it, I mean, <laughs> I don't think I have more than a 10% a, a chance tops every time I'm throwing an Ultra Ball here. Um, it's just attrition. It's just, yeah, if I can throw the right 10%. You know, imagine me trying to, you know... Hey, if I, if I got hit by, like, Supersonic that many times, my luck's got to be better in catching a Kyogre with an Ultra Ball, right? Call that Whelmer, is he? How come the Kyogre is, uh, you know, so tricky? There you go. Kyoga is named in mythology as the Pokemon that expanded the sea by covering the land with torrential rains and towering tidal waves. It took to sleep after a cataclysmic battle with Groudon. Yeah, I'm giving him a name. The most respectful name. Le Fichy. Le Fichy. Very respectful name. And, uh, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's done, so, uh, now I gotta wander back out. Dude, imagine if you get, like, wiped out here. Imagine using Flash. <laughs> uh... Thank you, Rebox. There we go. Being the Lucky Charm Rebox, I swear. I swear, like, I would have expected that one to take maybe a couple more goes. I know I burnt all my Ultra Balls in that one, but... Hey, it's worth it. It's worth it. There we go. Leave the ca- oh. Can't leave the cave yet. It's too busy, it's too crowded. And here we are, freedom! Hi there. All life starts at the Cave of Origin and all ends on Mount Pia. Where do people and Pokemon come from? Where are we bound? Okay. Well, it seems that everyone forgot that there was some torrential rain a second ago. Jeez. This person just calls me not an ordinary tourist again. It's almost the same dialogue as what was happening before. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you go in front of the, uh, of the gym. Yeah, he's chilling there. He's like, oh, you know, we owe it all to you. The sky above Citopolis has returned to normal. For that, Wallace sends his thanks too. And that same Wallace is waiting for you inside. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be on equal footing with him. Give it your best shot. And he just leaves. So, uh, yeah, the gym is now available. The eighth and final gym of the game. Uh, but you know what? I think that is a good point to call it, um, because... I did a fair bit. I grinded around, did absolutely nothing for, like, an hour. And then I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna fight the gym. 
took my sweet time beating that one, because that... Legit, that was a slog. That was a slog and a half. And then I went down to the hidden base and we just cleared it out and then just caught, caught Kyogre. Easy. Easy smart, so... There's a lot to explore around and definitely some things to, to go on, but I think for now that is a great place to end the stream. So with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, uh, you can uh, watch it again on YouTube as a VOD, unless you are on YouTube, in which case you could watch the streams live on Twitch at 8.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, we're not having daylight savings for a while, so uh, just tune in there. Pretty much, I stream every Monday. Monday. Just Monday. Um, and yeah, if you missed part of this, check out the VOD and check out the bits you did miss. And uh, yeah, no, that's good stuff. Um, if you, uh, what is it? If you use Reddit, please leave a comment on like what you think about the Reddit thing. And uh, if you don't use Reddit, uh, I guess I'm on Lemmy, l.bandow.com. I'm on uh, Mass, oh, it's Pleroma. Uh, m.bandow.com. I don't really use any other media. I don't know, you'll see me around. Check it out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't- I don't even- I don't even make money from YouTube. Like, what am oh, I do, actually? I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> it's- it's like- it's- it's less than a dollar a month. So, I do it for the fun. Have a good one, everyone. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. See ya.